I am flying to Prague to celebrate Christmas season with my friends. It's been a while since the last time I saw some of them, so I'm very much looking forward to spending some quality time with my besties, and that means I need to pack. Let's start with my beauty products first. I have this small makeup bag. I'm sure it won't be even full because I prefer to pack light and be more minimalistic. First things first, I will take my By Terry Brightening CC Serum. I just recently got this and it instantly became my favorite. I used it almost every day since I got it. I just love the look it gives me, this healthy glowy radiance. No coverage, you can still see my natural skin, but it's a bit blurring and evening out my complexion. I will of course take my Dio Forever Concealer. This is what I use to cover the dark circles under my eyes. A little bit goes a long way with this product. Unlike many concealers out there, it doesn't crease, which is why I love it so much and have been using it for years. I will take my Travel Size by Terry Brightening Powder because both Guerlain and Laura Mercier powders are way too bulky to take with me. This is a setting powder and to mattify my forehead that tends to get oily throughout the day. I am so excited to take this Hourglass palette. I knew it would be perfect for traveling because it has three products in one compact packaging. It has a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer, so I can do my whole face with it. For eyeshadows, I will take my Dior palette in the shade 689. I am taking a Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner, Lancome Hypnose Mascara, and Hourglass Eyebrow Pencil. I'm going to get my eyebrows microbladed in Prague. My favorite ever uh, permanent makeup artist lives there and I fly at least once a year to see her. She's just so talented and she has golden hands, honestly. So I only trust her to do my eyebrows. So soon I will not even need this one. And as you can see, I only take one of most products. I really like having this capsule minimalist makeup collection because it eliminates any decision making. I know this works for me. I know how to create different looks with these products. You really don't need much. With lipsticks, I like to have a bit more fun. I'm going to pack several different shades because I will have a lot of events and celebrations to attend. So I want to have some options. For a classic matte red lips, I will take my Rare Beauty lip cream. For nude lips, I will take Hourglass Velvet Story. And for darker lead lips, I will take a Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame. I will also take a travel size perfume dispenser. Inside is my Linari Porta Dolcello perfume and a beauty blender. This is it for this makeup bag. I also have a few makeup brushes, but I will add this to my other cosmetics bag where there are dedicated sections for it. And this is it. Compact and it has everything I can possibly need. I am generally a very organized person and I like to pack and plan everything in advance. This prevents any unnecessary stress, running around, packing last minute, forgetting things. I make a list on my phone of all the things I want to take with me. So moving on to a skincare bag. Of course, I'm going to take my favorite moisturizer. This is Agostina's Butter, the Rich Cream. And my favorite sun protection, La Mer SPF 50 Fluid. These two are non-negotiable. For cleanser, I'm going to take this uh, Tatcha Rice Wash, uh, mostly because it has the smallest packaging compared to my other cleansers. And Garnier Micellar Water to remove my makeup. SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. The best hyaluronic serum out there by Dr. Barbara Storm. This is a clay mask from a wonderful organic skincare brand, Slow Brew Botanicals. I love it. I really noticed significant results with it. It comes with four of these sachets in one box. Very convenient for traveling. And my under eye patches because I have a feeling Prague is going to be a lot of fun and I will need this. For my body, I'm going to take my favorite In Light Beauty Body Butter a molten brown hand cream and a cuticle oil. Can you tell I take my skincare very seriously? I wear contact lenses so I will take some extra contacts just in case and a solution for it. I will also pack my native deodorant, a new bamboo toothbrush and plastic free dental floss. In this compartment I will add some sheet face masks, my face roller for sculpting and depuffing, 
And here I add my makeup brushes. And these are all my skincare, body care, and personal hygiene products. The next bag is for my hair products and tools. I usually don't have an entire bag for that, but as I said, I will have a lot of events to attend and more glamorous settings where I would like my hair to look its best. I will take my favorite shampoo and conditioner from Orbe in perfect travel size packaging. I will also take Orbe texturizing spray, a leave it proof dry shampoo, this is my favorite, and a functional beauty hair oil. My friends will have all the styling tools I might need, like hair dryers and curling irons, so I don't need to bring this with me, which saves me a lot of space. So I will just pack a round brush for styling and my favorite wooden hairbrush. It is such a good quality brush. It is handmade in Italy and you can really feel the difference. And this is my hair care bag. I also have a small bag with my feminine hygiene products and my razor. I have several packing cubes here for my clothing. Here I have my tops. Here I have my bottoms and dresses. Here I have my underwear, socks and tights. I know some people like the rolling technique. I personally prefer to fold my clothing. This little bag has my two belts inside. And this is everything that goes into my main luggage. Nano Bear, my dog, has his own bag where he has his food, his sweaters, supplements, toys, balls, and everything he can possibly need. He's a spoiled little prince. Now let's take a look at what I pack in my carry-on bag. I obviously take my MacBook, charger, earpods, and my iPhone. I have a little bag of necessities of things that I might need at the airport or on the plane. A face mask, obviously, and a hand sanitizer, tissue paper, a breath freshening spray, a lip balm, a small mirror, a stain remover for any spills that might happen, earplugs because I cannot stand the noise on the plane, a hair tie, allergy pills, and painkillers just in case. It is a pretty short flight, so I won't really need much during the flight. Obviously, there goes my wallet, passport, and necessary documents for myself and Nanobear. And this is everything I am taking with me for two weeks of festivities in Prague. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will leave the links to the things you saw in this video if you're interested in these products or in my packing cubes. Check out the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas.